Hey guys, Steve Pavel, coach, consultant, ambassador, share on the love. And this week I want to talk about the gift of listening. See, it's been said that the most noble gift you can give of yourself is the gift of listening, of really caring about somebody, of giving your full attention to them and just keeping this shut and basically keeping these open. My grandmother, Emily Garcia, used to say one of the coolest things that she'd ever said was, Stephen, God blessed you with two ears and one mouth to be used in that ratio. You <laughs> see, so many of us, when we listen to people or we go through life at work and at home and in all the places where we engage, we have a particular pattern of listening. So many of us, especially guys, we're trying to fix it. We're busting out our toolbox. We're trying to just, you know, get, get all prepared so that we can create a diagnostic and fix that thing. That is not what serves people, especially ladies. They just want to be felt and received. But that applies to all of us as human beings. We want to know that people care. We want to know that they respect and receive us for who we are and where we are in life and that they recognize us, that they see us, don't we? See, I believe that the way you can really honor people is by caring about them in such a way by the giving them the gift of your authentic presence. Genuine interest and authentic presence are the keys to listening and making those deep, meaningful connections. It's that old saying, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Show them how much you care through your authentic presence and your genuine interest. And it's just about checking yourself. Give yourself that check up from the neck up, as my friend Ed says, about how connected are you? How engaged are you in the conversation? Right? Give yourself that diagnostic. Whenever you're in a conversation, you say, are you engaged? Are you plugged in? Or are you checked out? Are you thinking about the next day at work? Are you thinking about that message that just pinged on your phone and you keep looking down and you're distracted? You know, we've all been in that conversation with someone who's just, who's just going through the motions. They're cleaning their house, they're doing their bills, they're talking and they're, mm -hmm. right, yeah, yeah, I hear you. You know, pff, weak sauce. That happens to me. Some of my favorite people pull that stuff on me. And I just, you know, you got to just stop and say, because otherwise you just, you just lose interest. It just, it doesn't serve. So, you know, disrupt with love and say, hey, do you have a few minutes? Can you, can you connect with me? And if not, let's, let's get back on the phone another time when there's time to serve. But by keeping it real, by giving him your presence, you can do this thing that my grandmother used to give, give us this gift that every one of the grandchildren felt like the most unique, loved, special grandchild in the family. Imagine giving that to each person you interact with every day through your gift of authentic presence and engagement so every person you've, you've dealt with, whether it's at work or at home, and especially your spouse, felt like, oh man, they're all about me right now. Let me talk about how that can happen. Three actions to get you out on the grid, to get you on the court, and to make a difference by putting these into play this week. The first one is just focus on your level of presence in every conversation, being right there with them, right there, connected. If your phone goes off, reach over and just hit the mute on it and stay right there. They're gonna notice that, it's gonna make a difference. They're gonna be, wow, wow, that's different, that's cool. Or if it's critical and you're on some kind of deadline, say, can you forgive me for a second? I really need to take this, but acknowledge it rather than just being half there in the conversation. Your gift of presence, seeking to understand who they are, what they're up against, where they are, is gonna go a long way. The second part is your genuine interest, your engagement, that authentic interest in them. And really, you know, whether that's at work, whether that's at home, especially with your kids, your spouse, but in all relationships, Make that the most special relationship in your life in that moment. That's going to serve. It's going to create a space so big in that relationship that that's going to get reciprocated in crazy ways that you may not even expect with people starting to honor you by asking questions about you, giving you more authentic presence and all of that. The third part is get curious. Start to ask great questions. Ask those what, why questions. You know, gosh, what, 
what what happened to have that be so important or when did this become such a priority in your life man i'd love to hear more about like how this all came about get curious seek to understand get over there in their world get out of here get over there and really serve through your listening and be that impact maker that creates such an open dialogue that it's just going to make the difference at work at play at home everywhere you are so again, give that gift of listening through your authentic presence. Remember, two ears, one mouth to be used in that ratio. It's a simple equation, people. Put it into play. It will serve you, I promise. I'm Steve Havel, coach, consultant. I want to remind you this week and every week to get out there, share the love, keep it real, and live your dream today.